Hi everybody, I'm Sarah's Page. <laughs> Normally we do this in YouTube, but we're going live in personal Facebook today. Or we do it in a no more toxicity group. So if you haven't been over there, you should hop over and see the videos that we're doing there. And today we are talking about our eight tips on just having vibrant, youthful, clear, healthy looking skin. Yeah. We are in the business of skincare. If you haven't <laughs> realized that yet. Uh, we have eight total, and the first one that we're going to tell you about, which has been a big one for me, is uh, making sure that we don't wash with soap anymore. This may sound counterintuitive, we've been taught that to put soap on our skin, but soap dries our skin out. And on the contrary to what you might think, dry skin actually equals acne. Our skin likes oil, it needs oil. So if you're not already using some type of cleanser that doesn't have soap in it, um, we highly suggest making sure that you, yes, wash your face every night before you go to sleep because that's when your skin opens and heals. But um, using only things like oil-based cleansers, all natural cleansers. We have one in nature of no more coffee scrub. Everybody likes it, fresh take. Um, but if not us, switch, get away from the bars of soap and use some type of oil cleansing system with silk pillows. Wash your face, lay down on a silk pillow on your back helps uh, not to pull in and tighten your skin. And then Lindsay's the other favorite to that. Exfoliate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dry brushing. Here we go. <laughs> Dry brushing and exfoliating. So to add on to Sarah's soap, a lot of soaps have alcohol in them, which actually strip the natural oils in our skin. Mm. And that's what makes um, problematic skin. And one of my favorite Ayurvedic um, things that I do is or that's big in that area is dry brushing. So I dry brush pretty much my whole body, um, but exfoliating. So like our coffee scrub or our activated charcoal face scrub, we have different components in there that help um, just exfoliate dead skin, dry skin, the oil or the pollutants that get on our face just from daily, just being out in the world and mm -hmm. makeup and get all of that out and just cleanse it away. Mm -hmm. Especially about allergies. They say it's really important to wash before you hop in the bed because then it's rolling all those bugs and the yeah. pollution. And thanks to our EPA standards, y'all, cars are icky. So if you're in traffic, you're breathing it in, that's on your skin, wash it off. Yeah. Uh, the next one on our list is diet. 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 Lifestyle. Mm hmm. What if you eat. You're, there's there's something called ORAC scale, and you want to eat things that are really high in your ORAC scale, and your um, what that is is it's fighting free radicals. Free radicals are what age you. So yes, your fuel is just like a car. You put bad fuel in your car, your car is gonna break down, y'all. So if you're eating bad food, um, dead food, that's what highly processed food. It's dead. It's gonna make you feel dead. It's you want to live. And so some of the best things you can do for your skin is fruits and vegetables that are really high in the ORAC scale. I mean, any of them, um, I just eat uberous amounts of fruits and vegetables. Raw fruits and veggies. Mm -hmm. So the more you cook them, the more the beneficial nutrients die off. So like steaming mm -hmm. is good, mm -hmm. um, lightly sauteing, but the more you cook them, the more the beneficial aspects of them die off. Mm -hmm. So Same thing when you juice, mm -hmm. just the older it is, the less it has the level nutrients. of nutrients, so eat it quickly. Moving on quickly to the next step that you can make a really big difference is thought I'd throw a turbo shake on you. <laughs> Hydration! <laughs> yes, we know this, but let's just like slap you all in the face. You need to drink your water. Drink your water. <laughs> drink your coconut oil, juice, water, hello, whatever. <laughs> Get that fluid in. Don't forget about it. It can it's also like the number one for fatigue. If you're feeling sluggish, you're probably not having enough fluid. And I drink my water. How do I drink my water, Lindsay? <laughs> I love doing this. Um, fruits. fruits. I yes, soak I'm my that. I soak my water in ginger, cucumber, fruits. We have so many people stay at our house, and they're going to tell you they know about Sarah's infused water. It's been that way for years. I don't know how to drink water anymore. I love vinegar in my water. I love lemons in my water. Ginger. Cucumber. I just love the pot. So if you don't want to eat the fruits, throw it in your water. And a lot of times, if you're feeling 
hungry or having cravings, just drink a little glass of water and wait like 10 or 15 minutes. Sometimes you're just dehydrated and you don't even know it. Yep. Next on our list. Mindset. We talk a lot about mindset. Mindset. It's my personal fave. I think this is probably the most powerful. How do you stay young? If you guys were going to answer us right now. How do you think you stay young? It's all up here. It's in our thoughts, yo. Daniel says, timeless. 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 How old are you, Daniel? Timeless. <laughs> we're timeless. It's so proven. They've done tons of studies about meditation. Meditation, there's more proof that meditation can create world peace than aspirin cures a headache. What the That's crazy. crazy. We have the ability with our mind to alter our DNA. Fun facts. Mm -hmm. Science has proven that less, less than 10% of all disease and disorder is genetic. Yeah. What? It's more environmental factors in our mm -hmm. mind. If you're stressed, yo, you're going to look old. If you say to yourself every day, oh, I'm aging, well, then your cells repeat. What we're saying. Yeah. A lot of cultures, I think in the American culture, we kind of look down upon aging. So it's something that we resist and we look at like with a negative mindset. But there's cultures, they have beautiful skin and hair into their 80s and 90s and they're living into their hundreds. Mm -hmm. They truly embrace it. Mm -hmm. And it is a beautiful, aging is a beautiful gift that we have. Mm -hmm. So just taking a different approach to it instead of like resistance. Oh, I learned in my holistic health school that some cultures don't even go, some women in some cultures don't even go through menopause. A, a lot of it is linked to the chemicals that we have in this country, but it's Boy, also, <laughs> we're so dirty here. Like, let's clean up our food, please. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. They were saying the longer that you breastfeed, uh, Mary and I were having this conversation last night. Set a sleepover with Mary! Yay! Here we go, flowers. Um, the longer you breastfeed, uh, the less likely you'll have menopause. Maybe that's what that links to. Um, so, mindset, anyway, we're going off on another yeah. tangent outside of mindset, but get your mind in order. Tell yourself young, youthful. Stop having resistance. Age with grace and beauty and gratitude. And it's a beautiful gift. Mm hmm. Drum roll. Last one on the list is, oh, last two. Okay, three. I lied. There's three more, guys. Um, the next one, everybody hates to hear this. When I first heard this, I was like, oh, there's, there's no way. But guess what? I am sitting in front of me right now. Gluten, dairy, and sugar free. Refined sugar. Very important. I love my honey. I'm not giving it up. Inflammatory foods. They're inflammatory foods, guys. It's the number one for eczema, psoriasis. Yeah, you got any skin issues? You got the little bumps? We're just talking about this. I used to have bumps that I could like pop or pick on the side of my arms. And when I quit gluten four years ago, in the way, gone. My chronic inflammation, gone. My bloating, gone. My headaches, gone. My skin stuff, gone, 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 gone. When I quit gluten, dairy, and sugar. You know, it's really hard if you're having skincare issues or you're aging or you're aching and painting. Get out of the inflammatories. And there's always something good to replace it with. Mm -hmm. We have tons of amazing things you can use now. Especially today, yeah. Like honey. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> Hormones, yo! Okay, I know this is like, oh, go vegetarian. But really, the more meat you eat, the older you get. Hormones. When you eat hormones that are synthetic, it affects your hormones in your body. Too much meat is a top ager. There are tons of studies out there that link it to it. But if you're having skin problems, pay attention to that. And Jamie, I love you. You're about to get married. She has the stupid bumps in her arms too. <laughs> it's a thing, yo. I'm telling you, I know it's hard. But switch the beer to tequila or scotch. Scotch is good for the gut, I heard. Really? Yeah. That. Beer is wheat, man. Yeah. So, you know, we love the pizza, we love the wheat. But if you're having the bumps on your arms, I promise you, I give the Sarah 30 day challenge to see how you feel once you remove them. Let me try this. And last one, mm -hmm. maybe oh, our favorite. Is that our favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Are we biased on this one? <laughs> Choose a toxin free skincare regimen or mm -hmm. products that do not pollute your skin and cause aging. Yes. A lot of the traditional skincare products that we use are actually linked to aging, even though they market 
to be anti-aging. That is so sad. And cancer and oh. and hormone disruptors, gut yeah. disruptors. There was a whole article that said nail polish is making you fat because it seeps into our skin. 80 percent, 60% up to 60% of what we put on our skin does what? Gets absorbed into our body. Mm -hmm. Ew, would you drink that stuff? You bet. So whatever you're putting on your skin should be something you practically need. So get out, make sure you know the chemicals, not chemicals, the ingredients. If you can read on the back of your skincare and it says like aloe and plants, you know what it is, it's probably safe. It's like shopping on the outside of the grocery store. Don't go down the middle. Yeah, straight on the um, mm -hmm. outskirts. Mm -hmm. And my favorite statistic, which I share all the time, is that in the European Union, they have over 1,300 banned ingredients for use in their skincare products. We have like 15, yes, y'all? in the U.S. What? Literally less than 15. What? Crazy. America. <laughs> Man. What are we doing to our food, yeah. our children? And if you can't do it for your own body, think about whatever you put down on the sink, you what, Lindsay? Gets in our water it system. It gets in our water's life, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all like water? I like water. <laughs> Clean air and water. So let's, it doesn't just, you don't just dump the stuff down our sink and it goes away. No, it goes in our water system. They test our water now when you test it. It's got pharmaceuticals in it. It's got heavy metals in it. It's got pesticides. <laughs> I love her, guys. I do. Yeah, get the pesticides out. Don't get us on a tangent for pesticides. If you think pesticides is a hoax, it's all over in the news. Lawsuits like a mofo against Monsanto. They have proven pesticides cause cancer. So if you guys want to have that argument with us now, we can drop the <laughs> mic because I used to get argued all the time. Oh, that organic stuff's not real. It's real. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, it is. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So stop. Stop using them too. If you're spraying it outside, they've banned it 100 feet from schools. Pesticides. A lot of yeah. schools are starting to ban the spraying of it. Yeah. Kids and them. mothers who are or pregnant women are most at risk of the side effects. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, share with us if you guys have any more tips mm -hmm. on how you keep your skin clean and radiant and youthful mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. all or you have questions. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously, her questions could go on forever. <laughs> we'll just give you eight more tips and eight more tips and eight more tips and eight more tips. But if you like what you see now, we have a YouTube channel. Please follow and support our mission to help everyone move, remove toxicity. It's at Nature of No More on YouTube. We have our own channel. We have our own Facebook group called No More Toxicity. Join over there. And if you're interested in the yummy goodies that we do, natureofnomore.com. We're soon going to release a whole new line called More. And we plant a tree for every bottle sold. We've planted hundreds of trees. How about that? We're saving the world. Making oxygen. Save your skin, save the world. Make an oxygen. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.